I want to say a warm welcome to the one and only Walsh Fire. <laughs> Pop, pop, like, well, pop, pop, pop. Oh. Yeah, man. Yes. How Big you up. doing? I'm so good. So blessed. So glad to be here. Mm. Um, I'm glad that you're with us. I'm pretty sure your media tour has been hella wild. How has your day yeah, been like? Yeah, man. It's been a blessing, man. You know, I give thanks. I do. Okay. Mm-hmm. How has your day been like? It's blessed. So blessed. blessed. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. okay. What are some of the things you're, you're, you're grateful for, apart from having this amazing body of work man, out right now? So many things, man. Can you imagine? I come from nothing to be able mm. to be s- sitting here and having you guys spend time with me yeah. talking about... Um, you know, music and, and, and whatever else we're going to talk about. So, trust me, the list would be too long to start. <laughs> you know? Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. So, we usually start things off on the show a little bit different. Mm-hmm. We have this segment where we call it's called the warm up, where we get to know a little bit more of you. It's like the fun side. Yeah. So, there's a cup in front of you. You can dip into it, pick a question, and then you can go ahead and answer uh, the question. What's something that's on your mind right now that you'd like for us to discuss? Empowerment of black people. Let's do another one. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All nice. right. What are your thoughts on black Twitter? It's funny because they're loaded and they're loud. But when you really check it, mm-hmm. they're just a little group of people. So the problem with black Twitter yeah. is when it's time to actually get out into the street and stand on something, mm-hmm. where's where's the noise? Where's the numbers? Mm-hmm. So uh, black Twitter is a very loud minority. Okay. And what I've learned about Twitter, Instagram, um, Snapchat, all the social networks is that it's not real. Okay. So, for instance, you'll see somebody say something on Twitter or Instagram, and then someone will come and either ask me or ask that person, like, boy, it looks like people on the internet are saying this. Mm-hmm. When in actuality, mm-hmm. nothing's happened. Maybe one or two, <laughs> maybe one person said something. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's it's easier for us to 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 draw like a magnet to the yeah. negative. Mm-hmm. True, true, true. You know, true. to the low frequency. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we end up blowing up something that sh- who knows who's really out there saying anything yeah um and sad to say you know when it's time to lock arms and march on something um i don't think those same people on twitter actually yeah, leave, come out leave their house yeah, yeah. which out. brings about this question i mean you i'm pretty sure on your timeline you've seen everybody change their avi to blue because yep. of um sudan right. however uh there's been reports where influencers are using the blue to like collect money and say that they're taking it to sudan mm. um but they're pocketing the money how do you feel about a movement like that because um everybody's jumping on it right so here we are with literally what i just said yeah mm-hmm. Maybe there's one influencer that's doing that. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Actually, it was a couple. It was a couple that got okay. outed. But yeah. how many influencers might actually be helping? Mm. And why aren't they who we talk about mm-hmm. more than someone who's doing something wrong? Yeah. Because I think they're in the minority. Mm-hmm. But again, they're, it's easier for us to talk about them. It's yeah. more spicy, yeah. you know? And um, so I won't give them any shine. I won't give them any light of day. Shout out to the people really helping. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the people really doing something. Um, You know, big up to the people from Sudan that are right now listening. You know, we 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 stand by you with you know all the strength and whatever, um, you know, ways that we can help. Yeah. I really I really don't. I get it because that's just the human nature, you know. But we 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 draw to the bad. Yeah. 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 And loud up that more than the good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, black Twitter is not real. Hold on, one more. Mm -hmm. What are three? Essentials you must pack when you travel. Yeah, man. Uh, deodorant, mm-hmm. toothbrush, and uh, laptop. <laughs> yeah, okay, man. okay. I'm not, I can't, I'm not gonna say something else. Uh, now. Uh, if you were to introduce a Kenyan to a Jamaican dish, what would it be? Um, well, Jamaica's national dish is aki and saltfish. And saltfish. But here's the best part: mm-hmm. uh, aki's from Africa. Uh-huh. Uh It brought got brought over. And saltfish is a very non-Jamaican thing. <laughs> oh, wow. We don't have any saltfish. We import all oh, wow. saltfish. Mm. So how it could be our national, national dish, dish makes no sense. <laughs> but I would still make them taste it. Right mm. now, we have the man who uh, made all that possible. And uh, I love the fact that um, when it came to to you describing uh, the abeng, uh, abeng being a Ghanaian word, mm. uh, meaning an instrument people used to use uh, to do long distance trading. I really liked mm. the fact that uh, that was one of um, the inspirations for the name. Yeah, man. And, mm-hmm. and the other one being that it was a friend of mine. Yes. Yeah. That was his actual name. So mm-hmm. he was the spark. He was the original reason. Because yeah. uh, we used to make fun of his name. And, mm-hmm. uh, and then when we found out the meeting, we were like, man, your parents were way smarter than mine. Yeah. Because my name is Leighton. That's, oh, wow. that's pretty British. <laughs> that's yeah. Pretty you know? Colorful. And so it's like, 
Yeah, they weren't. They didn't put too much effort in my name, but mm-hmm. for him, they put a lot of effort into his name. Such a great name. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, true that. And um, I like the fact that also the the EP embodies uh, sounds um, from different artists from the continent, Africa, mm-hmm. and um, uh, the and Jamaica, the Caribbean. And Caribbean. I like the fact that they fuse together really well. Demarco, mm-hmm. being an artist who has come to the two five four a lot of times, Big up. Uh, when we listen to him on these jams, it's amazing. But Big up. I want us to talk about the sample when uh, when I was telling you about yeah, the Mungwa Nuliwe. Did you know that? Was right uh, now you just put me on man but it's a blessing because mm-hmm. i felt the energy you know mm-hmm. and that's one thing when i when i see the church system in um the west you know in america and in the caribbean mm-hmm. and i realized that even though we worship uh the god that was forced on us yes. in slavery over there um we worship it in an african way mm-hmm. and so the way that we give praise is so african it's so musical it's so um spiritual you mm-hmm. know and if anybody here has ever been to like maybe a catholic church yeah. and you see how it's totally not that you yeah. know it's just like traditional very hymnal mm-hmm. and calm nah man <laughs> church, <laughs> the be church is beer fire yo <laughs> beer beer things beer dancing and beer things you know yeah, true. it's just that you know it's under the god that they mm-hmm. were forced to worship and not the god that maybe they would have chosen to worship nice. but it's definitely african so mm-hmm. when i hear that now and you tell me what it means man it makes sense what yeah. made you like even look up the the song like what were you searching for yo i get into rabbit holes man <laughs> oh, trust really? me if i can tell you yeah. yeah i could have been looking at cars oh wow and I'll end up there uh-huh. it's just a rabbit hole you know the suggested mm-hmm. yes. yeah. it just start go like oh yeah right. let me click on that let me, let me click, click on, on that. that are you yeah. the type of guy to have like a lot of tabs open yeah man I'm a tab lo- I'm a tab hoarder oh wow okay yeah, yeah, yeah. you're honest about hoarder. that yeah man yeah man <laughs> and you mentioned um, I mean a bang is not only like the instrument but it was also your boy and you had mm-hmm. mentioned he was a great chef yeah, was man. there a, a great meal that he put you onto that you throw down to this day no he ate things I don't eat so you uh-huh. know he was just a chef yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. he was going to open up a chicken wing spot and I, yes. I don't eat that oh okay um, so you know I never I never got to eat any of his food because he he, he ate meat and he cooked meat mm-hmm. yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't so, but big him up, man. Love him, and I, I, we miss him very much, you know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I read, or rather, I saw something where you've mentioned plenty of times that you feel like the internet is very fake. You know, mm-hmm. have you ever like read something about yourself on the internet? And you're like, what in the madness is this? <laughs> too many times. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Too much times. I mean, too many to remember, but for sure, mm-hmm. I think the best the best example of that would be just being assaulted, mm-hmm. you know, um, by people with either racist comments. Um, or totally misguided yeah. comments because they don't know who they're talking to in reality. Yeah. yeah, they're just looking at a screen or hearing a song and thinking that they can then you know mm-hmm. approach you with this madness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I've been called lots of racist things online, um, and I had to learn not to respond. And now I'm at a point where it, I don't even see it. Yeah. But uh-huh. I had to learn not to respond because fighting on the internet is like punching air. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. You're never going to hit it. Yeah, You're true. never going to connect. And they've got all the time in the world. Yeah, especially <laughs> trolls. They're them, like... Mm. Them, just, them, yeah. them non-stop. Them yeah. non-stop. So I had to learn to just take it as a part of success. And mm-hmm. as many people know, you know, more money, more problems. Yes. You know, the more success true. you have, the more haters. Mm-hmm. So I started to embrace it and say, yo, I'm doing something right. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm touching buttons when somebody can can call me something racist or say something mean yeah. it means i'm getting in their space yeah. and what i'm saying is connecting so it's better than a a fight online you know it's a yeah. it's a punch that connects okay okay true and it's true because there's this new disease online called clout people yeah, man, really yes, yes yes people want to chase it people want to yeah, be man. infected by it how um are there are there ways um you i know you've seen it online a lot of people chasing clout yeah, trying man. to uh, tell you a lot of things that are not there how do you just keep yourself in that good frame of mind where you know you're the baddest pan their head top yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah how do you man, just no, keep that all right so first of mm. all let me say there was a disease worse than that before in Jamaica especially uh-huh. and we talk about all the time it's called bad mind right okay. mm-hmm. bad mind was the disease for like the last three decades where ah. somebody see a success and they just can't stand it but mm-hmm. now clout mm. attention yeah people will do anything for it yeah. they'll they'll i mean look at the uh the guy uh, jesse uh with the smollett you yeah know? Yes. they'll do anything for attention now you have to really wonder what Crazy. headspace people are in mm-hmm. so i just know that i am not them i yes. grew up a different way um thankfully i grew up before the internet yeah mm-hmm. where i know how how awesome 
life is yeah. when you actually go out there and live it versus scrolling um, for hours. True. Um, and I've done that before. I've scrolled for hours and felt still so unfulfilled after. Mm. While I know that I can go outside for a walk or I can go check a friend um, or I can engage my family and be very fulfilled. Nice. So I just fill my personal space with great people and okay. I feel great in life, you know? Nice. nice. And, they, and they give me, they check me the right way. <laughs> Which is something yeah. we're discussing on the show today. Mm. Like, do you ever call out your friends when they do some foolery? Like, yeah, man, what but, is this but, you're but, doing? But call them out in a personal way. <laughs> yeah, not you in know? front of you everyone. never yeah. see me. Yeah. Yo, you know how much time people see me? The other day, this is an honest, true story. Mm -hmm. The other day, one of our, our dancers from Major Lazer, um, she kind of slipped a little bit off the stage, off of a, 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 a high rise, a rise off the stage. And uh, I was so upset that when we went backstage, I I yelled at the, the stage guy so badly. But I, I regretted it um, because that's not me. Mm -hmm. And so there were people that saw me uh, dealing with him. And, you know, I had to like approach him the next day and say, listen, that's not how I talk to people. I should have pulled you to the side. And I should have let you know with the same anger mm -hmm. how much uh, that could have gone very wrong, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, so I'm very conscious, at least, to apologize if, if I do. But now, man, I always make sure I do my best mm. for just bring somebody one side. I say, rude boy. <laughs> Yo, Let don't go. yo, don't do it like this, you yeah. know. Yeah. yeah, I never actually mm -hmm. knew to get a collabo with other artists involved, like lawyers, plenty of paperwork yeah. until um, while she dropped those those those, those gems. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was gems. like, what? I thought it was just more or less like you hit up someone and you're like, would your label be okay with this? And yeah. Nah, yeah. that's not how I it works. I wish, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but you know, the artists are one thing, and then the people that manage them mm -hmm. and uh, the lawyers are a whole other thing. So. Yeah, yeah, man. And in Africa, mm -hmm. when an artist gets big they get really big and it can happen overnight mm -hmm. and so you end up having someone that could change the whole management change uh, um, labels and then you have to renegotiate everything and make sure everything's smooth you know and timely mm -hmm. so yeah man it's taken about three years to put this together so oh, it's wow. not an overnight thing yeah because I mean the, the record with Runtown and Alkaline was done like two years ago yeah know? man them song there trust me it's big up Alkaline yeah. and Runtown because the two of them yeah. was so so patient because mm. it wasn't them mm. it was other artists they were actually the mm -hmm. ones that were really on top of, of yo we, we need to put this out now mm -hmm. um, you know so I just give thanks for them and uh, we had to actually take some songs off because it just we just couldn't get it in time. So the songs that you took off, like which were some, which were some of the artists that you were nah. like, you're not gonna tell us, like come on. Big up to the artists that yeah. helped me yeah. make, make this it. project yeah. what yeah. it is. Yeah. Okay. Again, we're gonna focus on, on the positive, the greatness. Yes. Okay. Yeah, mom. But big up to them, you know. And mm -hmm. I, I definitely, uh, you know, it's it's just a matter of doing another album now yeah. mm -hmm. and getting those songs on that. So okay. yeah. and I have to do another one now. That's yeah. A, that's true. The true. Thing, true. Right? True. Yeah. And talking about uh, putting two artists together, when you when you're putting around town and alkaline together do you have this thought in your mind or it's organic it's in studio mm, how does no, it happen it's a thought you know mm -hmm. um like for instance runtown uh he had he had that demo mm -hmm. and he had this, the space the open bars and he was just like yo who do you think we can't get upon this and i medsed it thought about it and i was like man let me reach out to alkaline nice because the the melody the energy was just so him mm -hmm. and uh yeah he voiced it no no problems no issues shout out to both of them man great song great 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 song. same with mr easy and cranium yeah man and that's the song i worked on the most because mm -hmm. the beat kept changing and changing and oh, changing wow. and then they kept going back to the studio to redo their parts to the new beat and then the beat change again and you know what i'm saying that one is the is the is the hardest one i worked on mm -hmm. and and I, I know when you're in studio with all these artists these are organic kind of you have friendships with mm -hmm. these people it's just not business exactly. as usual yeah. yeah man i would never work with somebody that i wasn't a friend with first mm -hmm. so yeah man everybody on the album mm -hmm. um as excited as i am yeah uh, you know they feel the um the mission you know of of, of creating a bigger conversation between African and the Caribbean. So, yeah, man, shout out to everyone, mm. you know, from the Caribbean and Africa that participated. And um, uh, with the fact that you're always bouncing into a rabbit hole, um, are there some artists that you were discovering and you were like, I would love this vibe and you discovered them through the through YouTube and then you ended up adding them onto the album that they made um, the cut? Mm, no, because this was people that I met uh, usually in person not to say like I didn't know about an Ice Prince mm -hmm. before I met him 
Um, so maybe I did, maybe I was uh, finding, discovering them, but for sure there was mutual friends or same show. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went to like uh, Ice Prince Amani. The first time was in a studio in Atlanta, uh -huh. where it was just like, yo, somebody knew he was there and it was like, yo, you should come to the studio. Ice Prince is here. And I was like, yeah, man, I definitely want to meet him. You know, I definitely think he's one of the best rappers. Um, slash dancehall artist slash Afrobeats artist like nice. the man just versatile and bud you know and so definitely was a fan um, before I met him um, but yeah I would say yeah I guess I, all, I was a fan of all of them before mm -hmm. we met and then met and, and became friends okay. yeah, nice and uh, recently the whole world knows Buju did come home how yes, did sir. that make you feel especially after this this long period of time yeah, man, you guys were up, waiting man. Yeah. yeah man big him up man mm -hmm. and went to his concert in Jamaica and everything and hopefully we'll get to do some work with him I, nice, yeah, nice. I, like so I like that I like that I like that hopefully you know hopefully yeah, man. yeah. well uh, I want to say this this uh, Saturday you're going to be killing a party or yes. rather you're going to be on your tour yeah like, man it's at the alchemist alchemist Ooh, yeah, yeah man mm -hmm. yes. mad something you know i'm gonna be playing songs off the album okay uh, as long as major laser songs and uh you know i'm a dancehall selector like hardcore you mm -hmm. know all the tingle mm -hmm. so shout out to everybody that uh goes to the major laser shows uh in december that we do here yeah. mm -hmm. they're so important for us um to come to africa and do shows on but definitely this is going to be a much more intimate vibe i'm going to be able to like really shake hands and hu hug and have a conversation Conversation, yeah. yeah, you know, and uh, yeah, I'll probably just DJ for like an hour, an hour and a half. So don't miss, don't miss, okay. yeah, don't blink, don't show up, you know, star boy time, you know, at twelve yeah, thirty. Okay. <laughs> now just, yeah, I'm not gonna just DJ for an hour, but that uh -huh. hour is gonna be a, it's gonna be so packed with Ooh. vibes. What was the kind yeah. of vibe? Give us a little yeah, man, just like I said, personal. Okay. It's gonna personal. be personal, intimate. Yeah, okay. Yeah, man. Well, we are looking for it. I'm gonna be coming through. Yes, I am. Uh, and I can't wait to hear the kind of vibes you're gonna be setting up. Ooh. I want to say thank you so much for coming through. Yeah, man, it's a blessing. And, uh, thank you. Thank you for your album. Thank you for your time. Thank and you. Thank you for investing in empowering Black people. Yes. I noticed like a lot of um, youth really comment, and they're saying he's so woke he's so mm. conscious he puts mm. us on and I think that's really dope keep doing what you thank do thank you so much and Asante for that and yeah. oh, I want to just let everybody know I wasn't always like this so <laughs> don't think <laughs> yes. you know that mm -hmm. you can't go through life experiences but that's the thing is to go through life experiences and learn I've learned you know okay. I've made my mistakes and learned so to everyone out there who's either in a situation or surrounded mm -hmm. by people who are not positive you know do assess assess your life and okay. put a value to it and understand that you don't have to be uh, in any negative situations you can always elevate yourself and so hopefully this music if not this music some music does mm -hmm. that some conversation does that somebody near you does that to where you then teach someone else and each one teach one and we all rise okay yes. big up we're very, we're very thankful at the fact that as you said you, uh, you're bringing shows uh, to Kenya as major laser as yourself we're grateful for that because we all, we used to see these things on YouTube and we said these are things for out there but no, now when they come very to home important to me and Diplo to exactly. bring these shows to Africa mm -hmm. because we're influenced so heavily yes, inspired yes, so heavily True. by Africa so big up going yes. non-stop yes thank you very much yeah, and uh, before you go we always ask our artists and our guests when they come here to manifest or say things that they want to see happen in 2018 mad I love this yes, yes. what yes. yes so please before you leave <laughs> do bless us. us do tell us what you hope to achieve the artists you want to work with we had uh, we had uh, people come here say they want to be on billboards so please this is your time just manifest into 2019 Grammy boom boom no long talk 